I think the first person who comes to my mind is obviously my father. I think he was always encouraging me to play some sort of sport. He always encouraged me to keep playing better, to keep doing better. He was always ready to take me, like no matter how far the ground was, and no matter how early we had to get up, because we live in Sajapur and sometimes 4:35. But he would always actually happily do it. Sometimes he would wake me up, like I would still be sleeping, and he would say, "Come, come, we have to go." So I think that just over a course of so many years, I don't think whenever he took me, I don't think I was ever late for a training session or ever missed a training session in like 10, 12, 15 years. So I think that whole thing is just very important to me. Yeah, I think I think uh, certainly more so as a coach. I've got more more uh, mentors as a coach, trying to trying to point you in the right direction on how to get your point across. When you become a manager and a coach, you have mentors on what is right and wrong in that as well. And I think Sam, Alla Sam Allardyce has, has been a big influence on, on my career as a, as a coach and a manager. I coached this boy at uh, Preston when I was youth team coach and um, got him into the first team. He wasn't a regular and then he went down the academic side because he's very, very clever. Now he's coaching. He's coaching in the Robbie Fowler Academy in Liverpool. And whenever, whenever I've seen him, he says, I actually went into coaching because of the way you spoke to me and the way you treat me. So that was really nice. So from being mentored to now mentoring people, which is brilliant. And that keeps you going, it keeps you fresh, keeps you young, keeps your enthusiasm going. It's, it's fantastic. I would say the biggest preference I would say is my father. And I've never been to any academy or nothing like this. All what I am is today or because of my father and whatever I'm performing is like, he has taught me whatever I perform. Before I was searching for an ISL club and I was playing for the leagues and it was a very hard time for me because I was not getting a club because of my injuries and experience. But uh, as you know, before the ISL started, there was uh, many international players who were coming from outside India to play, like big, big names like uh, Roberto Carlos and everybody. And, and I just said to my father that I'm going for these games and then he just looked into my eyes and then he said, I want you to go as a player, not as a spectator. And that's what really like uh, touched me. And then, as you know, like at the age of 29, I got my first ISL team and today it's what it is. So I would say my father is my biggest preference. My biggest hand in my life and my goal in football career is my big brother, Naveen Singh Danu. His main role is a lot. जिसके वजह से आज मैं इधर खड़ा हूँ, तो वो मुझे हमेशा एक चीज उन्हें बताई है कि हमारे पहाड़ों में एक चीज होती है, जैसे हम लोग ना हम लोग हमेशा सामान पकड़ के ना सिर पे जाते हैं, चढ़ते हैं जब, तो हमारा हर समय सिर नीचे होता है, हमारा हर समय सर नीचे होता है, तो हम चढ़ पाते हैं, और हम जब so you will always come down. So in my district, this is something that I have told and many people have told me. And I will take it to the whole life of my life.